overall view of what exactly happens whenever a malarial parasite is gaining entry inside the body. The take home point is we have sporozoids, no drugs are targeting sporozoids, so leave it. We have merozoids, hypnozoids, gametocytes, three major targets which we have currently as per pharmacology is concerned. So uh, let's talk about uh, RBCs guys, you remember that inside the RBCs the merozoids will be stored. Consider here is where the RBCs are. Inside the RBCs is where your merozoids and inside the merozoids because these are all just uh, parasites buddy. So it will not be having any pre-filled or uh, pre-synthesized enzymes. Very minimal amount of enzymes or proteins will be there. It is primarily dependent on the environment. Here the environment itself is RBCs. So it will be having a just a big food vacuum will be there inside it. So what are these three different areas? This is your red blood cells and we have this merozoids and we have food vacuoles. These are the food vacuoles. Now what happens this uh, uh, merozoids will be taking up hemoglobin from the RBCs into the food vacuole even though it is utilizing multiple different mechanisms of energy production. One of the mechanisms is hemoglobin's intake. Right? So hemoglobin is going to be taken up inside the merozoids with the help of a protein called as Kelch protein. With the help of a protein called as Kelch protein. This Kelch protein will be there on the surface of the merozoids, on the surface of the parasites responsible for hemoglobin's uptake. Now what happens inside the hemoglobin will be broken down to globin and heme. Heme and globin it will be producing. Globin will be utilized as a protein source by the merozoids for further replication and proliferation. But heme when it is accumulated there it behaves as a waste product. Just take up a paper and tear it down. No, it is like heme. Lot of hemes will be there. How do you clean the paper bags? You just take up all the paper, put it up inside the dustbin and close that uh, dustbin bag. Right? Similarly, these hemes which are actually dispersed are actually toxic to the parasite. These are toxic to the parasite. So what the parasite does, it will take up all the heme, join it together to form an inactive component called as hemozoin. This hemozoin is a non-toxic metabolite. As it is taking up heme, multiple heme together and combining it together, this enzyme which is involved here is called as heme polymerase enzyme. The enzyme which is involved for this particular process is called as heme polymerase enzyme. 